you know, I like big blades and especially mm-hmm. when I'm outdoors, you know, I want something um, um, bigger, I like big fixed blades when I'm camping and that kind of thing. But dude, uh, I'm also hella into skateboarding and, yeah. um, um, and I'm, uh, and, and man, I, I'm not trying to fall and having something real big. Oh, in there. dude, you know, um, that would um, be terrible. And, and so like, like when I'm here, like my skating knife is straight, my yeah. actually what's dragonfly. Your, what's your skating knife? Oh, that, shit. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, 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 the war, or it's like the, the, the G10 Warney dragonfly. Yeah, or, I mean, yeah. I, I just basically put a, put the Warney blade into that one. But he, but he lucked out and, and started also had a real design sense. So he's making some beautiful fixed blade knives and we'd be at these family reunions, hella bored, just trying to avoid the old people. We'd kind of try to, <laughs> uh, uh, dip off, dip off and go smoke some weed or whatever. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, and then we'd go talk to the, to the young, to the youngsters and Alex would be pulling out these knives. And I'd be like, Oh dude. Yeah, that he made. And, yeah. And these wow. real wow. and he was like 14. Animals. And, um, and so, um, um, and it was at one of these family things and, we, and, and I was in his room and just going, dude, like, what the fuck are you doing in here? He had his, his, uh, his workspace was like the top of his dresser and it was wow. just carved. It just, it, it was just like Swiss cheese. He, he had this Dremel set up with, uh, I don't know, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a Dremel, but all these attachments and things, but he had just gotten hella crazy with it um, in his room. And I was just kind of mystified because I was just hella intrigued by it. I am more inclined to purchase a knife that no one is going to have, right? Yeah. Um, or or have a knife that everyone has, but is like absolutely different. That's the beauty of like aftermarket scales, clips, yeah. um, hardware, but like an aftermarket like blade modification, whether it's like stonewash or or a chop or something like that. I would rather have that and then go to the meet or wherever it is that you're going to chill with homies that are into the knife hobby, too. And you pull out like are you. <laughs> with a blade yeah. chop blade on it. And they're like, oh my God, what is that? You know what I mean? No one's going <laughs> to care about a regular Yojimbo. They're going to say, that's cool. That's a nice scales. But when you have something that no one else has, it's like, wow, let me see yeah. that. And, um, you know, to backtrack yes. on the uh, the mods with the, with, with, the, with the blade chops and stuff, how long uh-huh. does it normally take you to do one? Man, if, if everything goes smoothly, it usually takes me about two days of like working about maybe three hour, two to three hours uh, um, uh, um, per day. Like the, um, um, I'll usually like to, the, the chop, I'm just using a little Dremel, these thin cutting wheels yeah. and, and on a normal blade stock, like, or like, I guess normal is kind of a relative term, but like say the, I'll bet the, the knife I've chopped the most is the, the Spyderco smock. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, you know, kind of, what is that? Three millimeter blade stock I'm thinking anyway. And um, um, so, you know, not super thin, um, but you know, not, not, not super thick by any chance, by any uh, yeah. stretch. Um, that one, will, it's only a few minutes to do the actual chop, like the actual, you know, like really? uh, to cut take the... things off and cut it. So Damn. I'm thinking maybe about 10 minutes to cut through, but then it's all the shaping and the, uh, yeah. uh, the shaping that takes the longest so readily. Um, wow. um, and basically that's probably the thing that has given me the biggest headaches. Like um, before I went on Instagram, like when I was just doing the mods on Reddit, I wouldn't even do the pocket clips for cats because I felt too it, it, like I just wasn't experienced at it. Yeah, right, like, right, nah, right. you got to get someone else to do that. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but basically then I was like, Oh, when I went on Instagram and all of a sudden was just getting a lot more orders and was like, yeah. nah, I need to work it out. And I, and I, I had worked it out before I went to IG, but that's what kind of like made it, made it more like, nah, cause everyone who wanted it chopped and most people want a pocket clip, you know? And yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah. um, so basically the main hurdle, for me was learning how to tap uh drill and tap titanium i was just Damn. fucking snapping bits and um um, um and uh it was just titanium is weird it gets like gummy and it binds things up and um wow. but then also tapping it man i'd just be snapping taps off and the taps would break off from the handles and then I'd be like yo don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments